thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today I'm going to be planting onion sets. And it's very early March, which it seems really soon to be planting anything in the vegetable garden. But onion sets are one of those things that you can plant in the garden just as soon as you can work the soil. So I could have actually had them in probably even a week ago, the soil was workable. But what I'm gonna do today is, um, I have a bunch of chopped up leaves on here, so I'm gonna um, shovel those under with the, with the garden pick, the garden fork here. And um, then I'll be also putting some of this Master Nursery Bumper Crop Organic Soil Builder in. And um, boy, this just has all kinds of good stuff in it. So I'm really excited to see how well this is going to do. I want to read this to you so you can see all the good things that are in here. Like I said, it is organic. Um, it has worm castings, lobster and crab shells, um, kelp, kelp meal, aged bark, dehydrated manure, sphagnum peat moss, composted cow manure, and uh, uh, dolomic lime, which um, I don't think I've ever put lime in my, not directly lime anyway, into my garden soil. I do put it on my grass, but, um, so I just think that this is gonna do great. And onions are very heavy feeders. Um, so you definitely want to give them their own space to grow. Last year, I had some help planting in the garden and we didn't put them in their own space. And so therefore the onion crop was not that great. We still have plenty of onions for the whole year, but the crop just really wasn't all that good last year. This year, they're gonna get their own spot. They're gonna get fed really well. So um, we should have a huge crop of onions this year. So I'll just go ahead and get started. Now, um, if you have a lot of leaves in your yard, you could just run over them with a lawnmower and then um, grab them up and put them in your beds that way. We um, have a leaf blower that turns into like a vacuum so you can vacuum the leaves up that way and uh, then it chops them up and we put them down in here. There is quite a heavy layer of leaves on here so it's going to take a while to work in. So when you're tilling in your leaves and then later the compost into the soil, what you want to do is get down as deep as you can just to incorporate those nutrients deep down into the soil. So the roots, as they grow, they can just get those nutrients into your plant. And um, I highly recommend doing this, adding some kind of compost to your vegetable garden. So as you can see, this soil is beautiful. It's nice and dark. Um, you can dig down in there and it's nice and dark and the leaves will just continue to break down over time. So this I think is gonna just give me an absolutely amazing crop this year. I'll show you that. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says to plant them four inches apart with rows 12 inches between rows. Now that is more for a row that um, you would like walk between. Since I don't ever walk on this bed, obviously, because it's a raised bed, I won't need to have 12 inches between rows. So I can just plant them four inches apart. And you just press them down into the soil and have the top just barely sticking up. This is a good good one to show you an example of how to plant them. This is how you plant them. Uh, on the bottom, you'll notice that there's a little bit of roots already coming out, and then the top has the point. So you wanna put them in the hole like that with the very tip still visible from the outside. So as I go along and plant, I kind of ran out of room where I had prepared the soil, so I just had to mix in a little bit more of it to go further, but there are 150 bulbs in this small space. And a few of them I did plant closer together than the four inches, 
but those will be the ones that I will harvest first earlier as soon as they become available. So that's it. So just in a very short amount of time, there's 150 sets of onions planted in this small space. Um, that's one of the great things about doing square foot gardening like, like I do. Um, you don't ever have to worry about having rows between your vegetables, um, which I'm not opposed to having your standard um, vegetable garden. That's great if you have plenty of room for it. Um, I, I really want to have mine more in a compacted area and get the most yield that I can from that. And um, this way I can control the soil a little bit better. I can also keep my dogs out of it, which has always been an issue in the past. But um, I'm just so excited to be able to eat these onions and we'll be able to have them um, clear through winter. We'll just be able to store them over the winter and eat on them all year long. So um, really looking forward to keeping you updated throughout the summer to see how they're growing and see how they taste. And if you have any questions or comments, just ask below and I'll be happy to get right back with you. So that's it. Thank you so much for gardening with me. God bless and have a great week.